Hey everyone, this is Mr. Riley from Mr. Riley's World and congratulations, you did it. You just purchased a Stream Deck. Uh, man, it's a wonderful, wonderful device and so I love my Stream Deck XL. And so whether you have the XL, the large or the baby Stream Deck, what we call, uh, what is also known as the Stream Deck Mini, man, you're in for a treat. And so in this video, I basically wanna show you how to download sounds onto your Stream Deck so that when you push a button, um, it can play a sound, um, it can play a sound bite, uh, a rim shot kind of sound. And so um, let's go ahead and hop into this video, shall we? Okay, so I have already set up uh, my profile. Um, when you get your Stream Deck, you're gonna have to set up your different profiles. And so basically once you plug it in, um, you'll probably ask you to download the, um, the updated um, firmware. And so you can do that. And then you go ahead and create a, a, a profile. And so simply what you need to do is just come over. I've named my Stream Deck, Jay Heasy Stream Deck XL. And so um, then I have different profiles. And so it uh, looks like I have about eight different profiles. And so we're gonna work with this particular computer profile right now. And maybe I'll talk about some of the other profiles that I have set up on this Stream Deck already. And so if you notice, um, the Stream Deck Excel already has some pre-installed software. And so if you're using um, the Stream Deck for game capture, OBS Studio, Soundboard, this is the one we're actually going to use, this application right here, Soundboard. Um, so let me just click on the drop down arrow. Uh, there's a Stream Deck option, uh, Streamlabs, OBS, the system, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch Studio, uh, the Control Center, and Ecamm Live. And I'll show you um, how I integrate sounds into Ecamm Live because that's the streaming software that I use. And so let's go back up here to the soundboard. And so you just simply, uh, to access it, just click on the soundboard drop down arrow and you simply want to just play audio. And so what you need to do is just click on it, uh, click on the option and just drag. It's very easy. It's not that difficult as well. I have already um, added some sound buttons. And so if I, uh, this right here, what you see is the digital version of my physical stream deck. And so my stream deck is right here. I'm looking at it right here. And so if I push uh, the crickets button, guess what, guess what it's going to play? It's going to play crickets. And so you should be hearing the cricket sound uh, playing. And so even on the stream deck, on the physical stream deck um, itself, it gives me the countdown of how long that sound file lasts. It lasts about five to six seconds. And so it'll count all the way down, all the way into zero. And so what we're gonna do right now in this video is basically just download um, sounds. And so when you push your button on your Stream Deck, you'll enable a sound. And so um, I find this very, very helpful for conference calls, uh, for Zoom calls, um, and things of that nature. So let's just go ahead and click on one of the buttons I've already uh, drug over. I'm going to click on it and simply down here, I'm going to give it a title and I want this one to be known as Soul Searching. And so that's the song that I'm going to add. I can edit this button in terms of the text. So let's go ahead and make it a little bit larger um, smaller so that it fits within the button. And so I'll just come over here. Uh, simple editing tools is not that difficult. And I can, let's put it at the bottom. All right. So soul searching. And so now I want to find the file that's named soul searching. So I'm going to hit choose. So we hit choose and let's drag over my download folder. So that way you can see what I'm doing as well. So there it is, it's downloaded. And I'm just simply going to search soul searching. And it's in my downloads. And so there it is. So I actually have it two times. Um, so it's gonna click on it once and it gives me the option to open. When I hit open, that sound is now a part of the stream deck. And so if I hit this button right here, um, soul searching is um, 
a sound file from my YouTube library. So when I push the button on my stream deck, it should play the sound. So the sound is playing and showing it's two, uh, two minutes and 44 seconds and counting down. Um, and so, yeah, I've done that correctly. And so if I simply want to stop playing this particular sound file, I can just click on the sound, click on the button on the stream deck and it will stop. And so um, that's really all it is to it. And so let's add another one. So let's click on this button right here, the one right next to it. Um, we're going to title this one, Yeah Boy, right? So Yeah Boy. And then the same thing, we're going to go over here, uh, choose. Downloads folder comes up and we're just going to type in Yeah B-O-I-I, -I. Um, and so it pops up, it's going to click on it, hit open, and yeah boy is right there. If I want to edit the placement of the text um, on the button, I want to add it at the bottom. And so it's yeah boy, and when I click on the stream deck itself, it should play yeah boy. All righty, and then one more, if I want to, um, it's very easy, um, click on the button, come over here, and let's, this one is going to be called Let's Go, right? So let's go, we want the text, I'll select the text. And we want it at the bottom of the button and choose. Let's put in L E T and then we're just simply going to hit downloads and let's see what, um, and here it is. Let's go. Let me see if this is the sound that I want. Let's go. Alrighty. So that is the sound that I want. And there we are. So now I have three new sound uh, bites, uh, sound files that I can play. Uh, so if it's a song, this is a full two minute and 45 second song. It'll play all the way to the duration. If I want to stop the song, I just simply tap on the button again and it will stop. Yeah, boy. I'm just sit simply clicking on my yeah, screen deck. Boy. And then let's go. Let's go. And that's all you have to do now. Hey, everyone. So that's it. That's how you simply download audio files onto your brand new Stream Deck. I know that you're gonna have fun exploring uh, and trying to figure out which, uh, what sounds you wanna to add to your Stream Deck. So that way, if you're in your virtual space, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a business, a professional, um, a author, a speaker, whatever the case might be, download these sounds to your Stream Deck and that way you can have them available to you at the push of a button. Um, hey, do me a favor. If you found value in this particular video, I would really appreciate it if you uh, liked, comment, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And definitely hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I drop a brand new video. Hey, until the next video, you guys continue to be safe out there. Hey, and have fun with your stream deck. Thanks for watching.